Now, the president and Hillary Clinton are telling everyone to be careful about what they say. While Fox News has learned that the bombs the California jihadists left at the Inland Regional Center, guess what? They were meant to harm the first responders. The FBI also said earlier that the suspects were radicalized for, quote, quite some time. Here with reaction, columnist Mark Stein he has a new musical album called Feline Groovy, Songs for Swing and Cats. And by the way, Mark will be testifying tomorrow before the Senate on the issue of climate change. All right, so I look at the president's speech last night. To me, it's pretty obvious. This is a CYA. This is a, uh-oh, I said they were the JV team. I said they were contained. I said they didn't represent an existential threat to Americans. I was wrong. Let me go back on that and act like I really care, but no major change in policy. So all words, no action, no change in policy. How did you interpret it? Right. Yeah, I mean, he basically got that out of the way and then spent three times as much time uh, effectively talking about how racist and bigoted Americans are, which is the message you would have got if you were watching this uh, anywhere around the planet, you would have concluded that the president of the United States thought the principal security threat was his own bigoted and racist people. This isn't a small thing that he did last night, Sean. Uh, effectively, the president took the same position as CARE and the other Islamic lobby groups. That well, when there's you know, a big pile of corpses in a western city, the real victims are the poor Muslims because someone might look at them funny but, on the bus on the and, way to work Loretta the following Lynch morning. said the same thing, that she was going to go after people that used hate speech last week. She's pulling back on it today, but, well, the FBI actually has statistics on this very issue, and 62.4% of victims of hate speech, do you know who they are? They're Jewish Americans. It's only, exactly. It's only 11.6% that have an anti-Muslim bias. So I don't know exactly right. what they're referring to. That they're trying to create a controversy where there is none. Well, no, the Attorney General's words were quite disgraceful, and it shouldn't require a foreigner coming on your show to point it out, Sean. She's supposed to defend the First Amendment. Uh, this country has free speech. Uh, Loretta Lynch uh, announced that, as far as she's concerned, it has free speech but... One of the reasons we're in the situation we're in, uh, we have a stupid Homeland Security slogan that, uh, that, that they paid some, uh, you know, a marketing group uh, a ton of money to come up with. If you see something, say something. Loretta Lynch just says, if you see something and you make the mistake of saying something, she'll tie you up in a hate crimes prosecution uh, for the next half decade. Uh, the, the, when, when, uh, when Clock Boy, Ahmed the Clock Boy, brought a, uh, a, a ticking object to school, and uh, the fellas at the school thought they, they saw something. They're now being sued for 15 million bucks. Yeah. So if you see something and you say something, you're a chump, because Obama says you're a racist, and Loretta Lynch says she's going to bring hate crimes charges, and uh, Ahmed the Clock Boy's family hey, well, are going to sue you for 15 thing. million bucks. And as the president advances his anti-gun narrative, he keeps talking right. about, well, people on the no-fly list shouldn't have the right to buy guns. Well, I hate to tell you, the San Bernardino shooters, the Sarnev brothers, the Boston bombers, the Fort Hood shooter, the Chattanooga shooter, no perpetrator of any major attack on American soil was on the no-fly list, but there are 72 people on the no-fly list that work for Obama's Department of Homeland Security. How about right. he fires them? Why don't we start there? <laughs> or, yeah, exactly. Or sends them away. Maybe that's another good start. What do you think of Donald Trump's idea? Trump sent out a, uh, a press release today and talked about a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the U.S. until our country's representatives can figure out what's going on. He cited two polls, 25 percent, the Center for Security Policy right. poll, agreed violence against Americans here in the U.S. as part of global jihad. 51 percent agreed that Muslims in America should have the choice of adopting Sharia. So right. there is a clash of cultures. Hillary's wrong, right? Yeah, and what happens is it generally gets worse with each generation. So you find that older Muslims who arrived in the 50s and 60s are often perfectly assimilated. Uh, but actually, as we see in this particular case, young Muslims born here can be far more radical. And an extraordinary number of them, an extraordinary number of them do want to live under, under Sharia, do believe in death for apostasy, uh, do believe, for example, in female genital mutilation, uh, do believe in honor killings, and, uh, and the evidence is quite constant, not just in the United right. States, but across the Western world. Uh, it, it, and listen, Trump, if you grow up Trump under Sharia, it, it is the antithesis. 
of, of what right. we as a democratic constitutional republic believe. But I, I've got right. to ask you one more question. The House Homeland Security Chair, Representative Mike McCall, actually has said the White House, not releasing information to the public, that it would indicate this, this information that ISIS plans, and there are plans, and we know it, for ISIS to infiltrate the refugee population like they did in Paris. And the female shooter in this case was right. able to get in through a fiancé visa. And she gave the right. wrong address, and we didn't even catch it. So why should right. we trust the president in taking in refugees if we think that, if we know ISIS is going to infiltrate that population? Right. Who's more insane here? The president who says everyone will be rigorously vetted. I know I wasn't rigorously vetted any more uh, than the, uh, the, the crazy mass murdering missus from Pakistan was uh, rigorously vetted. That's rubbish. That's nonsense. That doesn't happen. So who's more insane? The president who makes promises that everybody knows is rubbish uh, or Trump who says the issue here is that uh, this psychosis incubates within Islam and that is something worth being able to discuss honestly without the president and his attorney general and uh, the next president in waiting calling us all bigots. Yeah, all right. Mark Stein, uh, always good to have you, sir. Thank you for your insight.